Welcome back to Hang With Heavy. As always, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a deep uh, fluke rig, but we're going to do a kind of a, du a double rig, high-low. But with our high-low, we're going to be using as our weight. We're going to be using a glow-in-the-dark tsunami 6-ounce ball, 40-pound <clears throat> fluorocarbon to a three-way swivel. And then from the three-way, we're going to run with 40-pound fluoro again. Uh, probably a short length, less than 12 inches when you're finally done, to a, uh, a glow-in-the-dark B2 squid with a long shank hook in it. So your bottom your bottom is going to have the ball on it, going to put a strip bait on this, and then a lot of times what we'll use is we'll use a live bait on this squid, whether it be a, live, a small live spot, uh, a big killie, big minnow up top that'll give it some extra, you know, vibrations from the minnow on it. Um, minnows aren't find, found in deep water. You know, spot can be found in deep water or any little, you know, live fish that you can find based on your area's regulations, of course. Um, make sure to size limits. But it does help to put a strip bait on the bottom and then have a live bait up top that'll uh, create some vibrations that these uh, fish can pick up on. So we started out, we're going to tie to our three-way swivel. Got about, uh, it'll probably be by the time we're done tying it, 18 inches of 40-pound uh, uh, monofluorocarbon uh, from Seaguar. And we're going to come in here and we're going to tie. We're going to do a clinch knot. We're going to wrap it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come through here. Get it to start to slide down. Moisten it up. Lock it in. I know some people don't really believe in the clinch knot. I tie it properly. I ha haven't had any real problems with it. So I like that. Clint tied down tight. Trim it clean. Small tag. All right. There's your ball. These balls do glow in the dark. So when you're fishing 80 to 100 foot of water, you're going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little flash down there. So then we're going to come up here, take our three way. Trim this back down a little bit. It's a little longer than I want. All right, I'm gonna put our three-way swivel on there. And also do a clinch knot on this one. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Through, pull it down, get it moist. Pull it in, lock it in. There you go. Alright, there's the basis. You got your ball to your three-way. So this is gonna be one one end's gonna be tied to your main line. The other end's gonna be like your uh, a dropper loop and another line running off of it with another hook and bait. Preferably a live bait on that one. Alright. Not gonna snell this hook, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Clinch knot. One, two. Pull it tight, lock it in. Snip it clean. Now what I do do, what I do do, I do do. Um, I put a bead by the hook so the knot doesn't tear up the end of the squid so you get more uses out of it, get plenty of uh, fish with it. Um, slide it down on here. See, you got a bead there.
Yep, kind of lock it in, slid up into the squid, and you can see bead's already already up in there. This goes up in. You can put your bait, strip bait, or live bait on there. If they're minnows, they need to be big jumbo minnows. If they're uh, you know spot, whatever, you can hook them down on there, hook them up through the, come right up through the jaw, and that'll give you extra bounce up there. Tie this up to the other end of your three-way. You want to make sure it's just a shorter arm so they don't tangle. We'll pull that up more. That's probably about 12 inches. Trim some of this off. So we're going to tie that. One, two. Pull that down tight. And then there you go. We're going to back this up some. Oh, the other way. So you can see. There's basically where they where they lay. This one will ride just above the other one. This is going to be used as your weight, six ounces. A lot of times it's plenty, deep enough. You know, fishing with braid. You know, there's your three-way to your six ounce ball. And also up here, I mean, you know, jumbo sea bass will grab this. Uh, you can actually also use this in a stri in fishing with stripers. Uh, you can fish the bottom one with a with a strip, um, you know, salted mackerel, whatever. You can put something up on the top. I wouldn't put eels. It would wrap this thing all the cra all crazy, but you can put uh, you know strips on it. But this is a different a different fluke rig. This is for big fluke. This is for fishing. You know, deep water, deep reefs. You know, deep rock piles like they have here in the old grounds. Uh, the different lumps, the banks, the, uh, you know, you do need to watch if you're fishing this around wrecks. You know, you're looking at uh, five, six, seven, eight dollar rig, even, you know, even tying it yourself. So, but this rig, you don't really find it in any stores, but it's very effective on a bigger fluke. I mean, you, you know, where a heavy deep water presentation is needed. So that's Rig Time, Hanging with Heavy, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care, people.